Hey guys, what's up? Travis here. Welcome back to my channel. And today is not going to be a singing video for two reasons. Number one, I'm, you guys are probably sick of it. And number number one, yeah, you guys are probably sick of it. And number two, <coughs> I'm just getting over the flu. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, you're going to forgive me. Uh, today is going to be something a little different. I'm going to do um, a little bit of a review type thing. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, Travis, what are you doing to spare time besides play darts? Uh, I play video games. <laughs> I got an Xbox One. Uh, both me and Bill Gates have Asperger's, so that's a good thing. Uh, today I'm going to be doing, like, what I'm, what I'm currently playing now, what are my favorite stuff, God, you know, there's a lot of games I've played, some I've sold off just for extra money, you know, you know, in my mind, you know, if you buy something and you sell it away for extra money, it's a lot better than going out back in the day, renting and get it back and get nothing for it. So, uh, today I'm going to do a couple of my favorites, what I've got here, I got about, oh, I'd say... Three, four, five. So I got about six games that I played recently and that I like. And I'm going to give you some good and bad about it. First off, I'm going to show you this little item. And this is the Rare Replay, as you can see. Uh, Rare was bought out by Xbox. And unfortunately, because like back when I was growing up in the N64 days, Rare was the shit. I mean, it was the stuff that you would want to play. Uh, you know, the Banjo Kazooie's, the uh, Diddy Kong Racings. Which ironically, it's not on this game. Neither is Donkey Kong or some of the other some of the other games. But it does have a lot of the classics on it, dating all the way back to the Atari days. Um, the newest game on this would be uh, the new Banjo Kazooie one, which came out Nuts and Bolts, which was a horrible game, and I'll say this right now. Uh, but one of the one of the main games that I've tried and played on here obviously has to be Conker's Bad Fur Day, which happened to be one of my favorite games growing up, and you know I, it wasn't fit for any of us to play. But it, did, it had a remade in uh, the original Xbox, and uh, now it's back on uh, the Rare Replay. Uh, the good things about this game is the, is the variety that you have. I mean, there's so many games out here you can play retro, if you're into the real retro games. And there's stuff out here that I never played before, never even heard of, and I liked. The bad thing is, there's not every game out here that you really want. I mean, you don't have Diddy Kong Racing, you don't have the Donkey Kong games. But the one thing you do have is you have the Battletoads, you have Conker's Bad Fur Day, and you do have the three Banjo-Kazooie games, which is really awesome, so you don't have to download them or anything else like that. Number two is, obviously, since I'm a wrestling fan, WWE 2K16. Uh, you know, it's a lot like the other WWE games that came out, 13, 14, 2K15, so not a lot has changed. The graphics on it are really good. That I like. Uh, that's the good thing. The entrances, the music, the moves, and the one thing that I really like about this is that you know, the one thing you've always got about your creative character when you were playing any of these games is that you don't really get the lifelike feel of it. I mean, I'm not the biggest game editor in the world. I mean, I can't make myself look like this. I don't have the scanner or whatever you got to do to make your character really look like, uh, look like you. But I love how they updated the materials of the attire you could put on your creative character. Um, you know, you can make it look shiny. You can make it look, I mean, if you want to wrap your 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 character all in black leather and you want it to look really shiny it, you can do that it's a met, really metallic look i mean if you want to make yourself look like roman reigns or just a you know a dirt or you know some superhero they got everything in this game for you uh, a lot of good downloadable content if you got the money for it which i don't or internet uh i find that the storyline is a bit repetitive uh, i'm not a big fan of the storyline uh, i think it's you know I, th I think that you know it's too long and you're not getting anywhere with it same thing with but they do have all the matches on there, a lot of good characters on it, and the biggest um, array of superstars. I don't like the storyline with when you do an interview with Renee Young. I don't like the character that they got done. I don't think they did a good enough job with Renee Young. And Renee is um, a very beautiful girl to uh, to have her mess up that way, and a good announcer. Plus, she's Canadian, so what can you say? And Grand Theft Auto V is the next one. Um, what can you say? Three different characters, the biggest open world you could possibly do, one of the best franchises ever to hit video games. The violence is still there. The story mode, I find, is ten times better than any other Grand Theft Auto game I've played. San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto 4. The background of it is really good, and, um, you know, there's just so many good things about this game. When it, whether you want to fly, whether you want to golf, or do you want to do anything, or you want to do the missions, or go out and butcher a bunch of people with a machine gun or a machete, this game has got something for you. I find that the characters of Trevor, uh, Franklin, and Michael are three. You got three guys in it that, with 
each three different major personalities. Trevor is a psycho, but he's also the funniest guy in the game, and I love him to death. I, I think the guy after my own black heart, Franklin, I, honest to God, I've never heard the word, I've never heard the N-word used so much in my life in this video game when it comes to Franklin and, and his buddies. Um, a lot of black versus Crip, a lot of Crips versus, um, uh, Bloods type of, uh, or you got everything in here. You got bikers. You got you got uh, you got all kinds of gangs and everything in here you could possibly want. Uh, I think the controls are a little choppy. The camera angles are a little bit bad. But you know, really, I don't really, um, I don't really look at that kind of stuff. It's always been a solid game for me. I, you know, I still think compared to some other third-person shooters, I think it, the the it could be a little better. But you know, this is. Uh, this is the updated version, and it is far better than the uh, 360 version. Next up, The Rise of the Tomb Raider. I have it, I've got this downloading now on there. I haven't played it yet, but I tell you what, um, with uh, the original, the, with the first game, this is the sequel to the first game, and I tell you what, if it's going to be as good as the first one, then I'm in for a real treat, so I'll get back to this. Now, another one. I've done The Walking Dead one, which I should have had here, but, you know, I, I've done that review before, I think. Um, probably do it later on but the wolf among us is another um is another telltale game and telltale has been hitting the mark with these point and click games i'm telling you right now especially with the wolf among us it's a comic book series turned into a video game fairy tale creatures made into everyday people i mean big b wolf the big bad wolf turned into <laughs> turned into a, a a cop for for mystical creatures like snow white and everything else like that I mean, the story of it is really good. You really get sunk into the characters. You really get sunk into uh, into uh, uh, the feel of the game. I'm not going to get into much about the ending because I thought the ending was a little bit sad. I mean, it was one of those endings where it just pumps up. I don't know if there is going to be a, a sequel to the game. I hope there is. But um, I think it was more of a game. Believe it or not, I think this game was more or less a, a promo for the comic books, but I'm not 100% sure. Finally, and I'm going to get into this one in detail, Life is Strange. Wow. I just finished this. Don't, don't know I made this game, and I'm telling you right, right now. Whoever doesn't have this game, you need to pick it up. This has got to be one of the best games I've ever played in my, not just this year, in my life. This game is the stuff. The story of it, the powerful impact it has, the meaning of it. I'm going to get into, I'm going to get into this, um, all together later on and I'm gonna make a separate video for this so I'm gonna do that and um, yeah so these are the games I've been playing recently and these are the games that I like uh, right now so if any of you want to go pick them up they're all available no copyright infringement intended of course but like I said life is strange I'm gonna get into a video on its own about all that one anyway guys thank you very much I'll see you next time and cheers